In today's video, I want to share three AI books that have helped me identify gaps in my understanding of state-of-the-art AI models and building AI applications effectively. One observation I have is most recent AI books focus heavily on large language models or LLMs, but they are not the only approach to AI. Jan Lekun, one of the fathers of deep learning, argues that LLMs like the ones powering ChatGPT will never truly reason plan or achieve artificial general intelligence. But for now, LLMs are one of the most advanced AI technologies we have, and they are already proving incredibly useful in a variety of applications. So the first book we are going to talk about is Build a Large Language Model from Scratch by Sebastian Raska. And as the title suggests, this ambitious book takes you through building an LLM like GPT-2 step by step. If you've ever wanted to look inside the black box of an LLM, this is probably the most detailed and hands-on guide available. You might be wondering though, why build your own LLM when you can just use GPT-4? That's a fair question. Most people don't need to build their own models. But if you want a deep foundational understanding of how they work, there's probably no better way than coding one from scratch. Richard Feynman once said, what I cannot create, I do not understand. And this book really drives that point home. And also there are real world advantages to building own custom LLMs because in some specialized fields like finance or medicine, a tailored model can outperform general purpose ones. In addition to that, training your own model allows you to keep all your data private so you can avoid the risk of sharing it with third party companies like OpenAI. Throughout the book, you learn both theory and implementation. It it covers transformers, the attention mechanism, pre-training, fine-tuning models with instruction datasets, and you get to understand every layer of the architecture. The writing is very clear, not at all complicated, and the author has also put a lot of effort in creating diagrams that makes complex ideas a little bit more easier to grasp and to digest. As a visual learner myself, I'm so happy with these diagrams and illustrations because they clarify a lot of things for me. The book also includes the Python code implemented in PyTorch, which is a um, deep learning library in Python. And there's an entire appendix on PyTorch to get you up to speed if you're not already familiar with it. You can find all the code for this book in this GitHub repository, which is actually public and freely accessible to everyone. So if you're a machine learning researcher or AI researcher or engineer serious about understanding LLMs at a deep level, this book is an invaluable resource. That said, it does assume you have basic to intermediate Python skills. So if you are looking to build those skills first, check out my Python for AI course linked in the description. This course is fully developed and taught by me. Right now, there are 200 students from all sorts of backgrounds are already on their journey, transforming from Python beginners to someone who can work with AI models to develop useful projects. This course focuses on building AI projects from idea to deployment. So if you want to learn all the fundamentals and get ready to build useful AI applications, be sure to check it out below. All right, the next book we talk about is AI Engineering, Building Applications with Foundation Models by Chip Huyen. So with the last hype of the DeepSeq R1 model, we are really living in an exciting time where powerful AI models are becoming freely accessible. Andrew Wing recently has pointed out that while much of attention and hype is around foundation models themselves, the biggest opportunities lie in building AI applications. So I spend a lot of my time thinking about AI applications, and I think that's where a lot of the best opportunities will be to build new things. I think anyone nowadays can build some basic AI-powered applications with basic coding skills. But the real challenge is to really understand the underlying AI technology as it is today and how to build really robust and reliable AI applications that solve real-world problems. I think this is where this book really shines. This is a relatively new book, but it's already got some really positive reviews. It's a comprehensive guide to AI engineering covering almost everything you need to know about bringing foundation models into real-world applications. 
A particularly interesting discussion is the rise of AI engineering as a new discipline in today's tech landscape. You can recognize this trend seeing how open source AI engineering frameworks are growing much faster than any other established software engineering tools like Vue.js, React.js, and even Bitcoin in the past few years. If you're familiar with machine learning and data science, you've probably heard of machine learning engineering, which involves developing machine learning models for specific use cases. However, AI engineering is not really much about developing new AI models, but more to leverage existing ones for different use cases. The author has done a really impressive job compiling so much interesting information and useful resources and presenting it in a coherent and accessible way. It comes with a GitHub repository where you can find the chapter summaries together with a bunch of interesting resources, so feel free to check it out. The book starts with foundational knowledge on building AI applications using foundation models like LLMs or large language models and LMMs which is large multi-model models. After that, you get an overview of the foundation models available today and their use cases like coding, image and video production, writing, education, chatbots, and workflow automation. It's interesting to note that until now, most AI applications focus on automating simple tasks rather than handling highly complex ones. And this book does a great job of setting realistic expectations. I find that one of the most valuable sections of the book is the discussion on considerations before even building an AI application. For example, deciding whether an AI solution is worth building in the first place. Sometimes a simple regression model can get the job done, then there's no need to insist on using LLMs. Unfortunately, fear of missing out often drives companies to implement AI even when it's unnecessary. In addition to that, you also need to set expectations, plan milestones and maintenance. And from my experience, these discussions are often overlooked in AI development. After that, this book goes on to dive into more technical aspects, including how foundation models are trained. It unpacks all the technical buzz terms like unsupervised pre-training, supervised fine-tuning, and reinforcement learning with human feedback. It also goes a bit more in-depth into attention mechanism and transformer architecture. I think Chip Huen has tried her best to simplify the explanation, but some of these sections may feel a bit more advanced if you're completely new to deep learning. But in general, you get the main ideas and a glimpse into how these modern AI models evolve. Another interesting section discusses scaling laws, the idea that better models require more data, more computing power, and higher costs. However, as we've seen with models like DeepSeq R1 that performs well while requiring less compute and parameters, I feel like we might need to rethink this assumption altogether. The rest of the book discusses different techniques to adapt foundation models to specific use cases from prompt engineering, retrieval augmented generation or RAC, and AI agents to fine tuning and the whole architecture around the application to make sure they are safe to use and efficient while protecting data privacy and potential um, misuses. The book also provides you with some valuable frameworks and metrics to evaluate foundation models and your AI systems. So overall, if you're working in a company that wants to integrate AI into its operations, this book is an essential read. While some of its assumptions and statistics may become outdated over time, the fundamental ideas are still significant and relevant. I truly think you will learn a lot from this book. The next book I've come across Cross is LLM Engineer's Handbook. Master the Art of Engineering Large Language Models from Concept to Production by Paul Lustin and Maxima Labona. I hope I pronounced the names of the authors right. Unlike the other two books, this book is geared towards engineers who want to build optimize and successfully deploy their own LLM-based applications. So if you're more technically inclined and looking for a more hands-on guide, this is a great resource. 
Similar to the other two books, it also comes with a GitHub repository, which you can access for free without buying the book. This book essentially covers the technical details of an LLM development pipeline, including data collection and data engineering, supervised fine-tuning, retrieval augment generation pipeline, evaluation, cloud deployment, and LLM ops. This book is quite light in theory, so you won't expect it to explain to you how transformer architecture works, but it leans more heavily on the technical aspects like tooling, architecture, and goes more in-depth into implementing each part of the LLM development pipeline. This book is quite hands-on in the sense that the authors use a recurring example throughout the book. The example is about building the LLM twin project. An LLM twin is a version of yourself projected into an LLM that incorporates your writing style, voice, and personality. This is achieved by using your own data, for example, social media posts, and leverage different techniques like fine-tuning and retrieval augmented generation. So this digital twin would then be able to produce articles and social media posts for you. This project might not be the most original idea there is, but it provides a concrete case study that you can adapt to your own use case. After building this LLM twin, you learn how to deploy this AI system professionally on the cloud, making it ready to be used by many people. The book covers how to set up all the different parts of the architecture, including setting up virtual machines, databases, and how to implement a CI CDCT pipeline to make sure that the application is properly updated, maintained, and monitored. This is what the authors called LLM Ops, which expands a bit on top of ML Ops with some additional components such as prompt monitoring, guardrails, and human in the loop feedback. Regarding tooling, this book introduces you to some tools such as ZenML, Docker, Comet, OPIC, MongoDB, Quadrant, and AWS SageMaker. One downside with these types of book is that tools can change and new tools are coming every day. And also if you're building an AI system using the infrastructure at your company, then some of these tools might not be relevant for you. Still, I believe this is a very useful book for AI engineers and developers. So these three books offer different perspectives on AI, from how LLMs work, to high level theories and principles, to hands-on LLM development and application deployment. You can find the links to these books in the description below and let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions or resources. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.